pop a nigga like a damn tag shopping on the ass. So as you guys can probably tell by the background, I am at the storage unit right now, so I'm sorry if it's echoey. I don't have my 70D with me. I'm back with the G7X because I had to easily put this into my little side bag. It just wasn't a big contraption. And I honestly wasn't even planning on making a vlog today just because, uh, as you guys can see, I am literally pulling out almost everything from my storage unit. I literally went in, cause look how messy this thing is. Like, look at all that on the back. You literally can't even get through. There's stuff everywhere. Just way too much stuff. I had to hang up a lot of the jackets. This big bag, I'm about to donate to the homeless as well as this bag. And then everything else is kind of like, this is my personal collection. Everything that needs to be sold. And I'm kind of going through a lot of bulk buying stuff. So if anyone is a reseller that likes the stuff I sell and is interested in bulk buying, send me an email or an DM on Instagram. My email will be emcvlogs at gmail.com or again on Instagram at ditr954. I really need to get rid of stuff. So don't worry, the prices will be really good. Almost thrifting prices, just you guys gotta take care of shipping. I just need to get rid of stuff. So basically today, I brought out my personal jackets, which a lot of the stuff I am selling, but I figured, you know, before I do sell, like I already sold my Big Flag Tommy as well as my RL93 polo jacket, my Cookie Crest polo sweater. Like I've been selling a lot of my personal stuff. I'm definitely gonna keep a few personals, but I figured before I sell everything, let's show you guys what I had in my personal collection. So to start it off, we got the Superman Tommy Hilfiger. You got the Tommy Hilfiger patch. Huge Tommy Hilfiger patch on the back. Next, a personal grail and probably everyone's favorite. We have the South Beach edition of the Tommy Hilfiger. Huge flag on the back again. This is one piece I'm actually gonna be selling. This is autographed by Tommy Hilfiger himself right there. Coach jacket, size XL, Hilfiger on the back. Another one that I'm selling, we have the Tommy Hilfiger sailing gear all embroidered on the sleeve, as well as the Hilfiger patch right there. Tommy Sailing. Another one I'm selling, this super, super light windbreaker style camel. It's like the Teflon. This is a size large. A-Life Olympics hoodie, size large. Selling this. Basically, whatever I say, like the sizing is obviously I'm gonna sell it. If I don't say the sizing, I'm not selling it. So for the first two jackets, I'm not selling. Size large, you have the Rip and Dip Coach jacket with Stop Being a Pussy on the back. My Mickey jacket. Size XL, got the Mickey all in front, and then the Lifeguard Beach Patrol. Oof, another grail. Big flag Tommy fleece. Size medium, but could fit a large. You have the Tommy sailing hoodie. The stripes going down, and then on the hoodie, you have the Tommy sailing gear. As well as the back, you have Tommy Hilfiger sailing. Size large, you have the color blocking Nautica jacket. Another color blocking Tommy jacket with the Tommy flag with the little squares. Grail, 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 Mickey racing, Formula One. I actually saw this in round two, the gallery store, so it's kind of cool. Tommy Hilfiger all spelled out, embroidered. This is signed by Tommy Hilfiger himself. I'm contemplating if I want to sell this or not. This is a size large though. And again, I did have a lot more personal jackets, but that's the stuff that I have at the moment. The stuff I am selling, the stuff I'm not selling. Most of the stuff will be on my website. So make sure you guys check out the web, make sure you guys check out the link down below for all the pricing. Also, I'm gonna be selling this Marlboro duffel bag. Brand new with tags. Got this polo sport bag that I'm selling. And it actually retracts in the middle so it can be longer. Selling this Polo Sport backpack. And I also have a Tommy Hilfiger backpack that should be in, I think, today that I'm gonna be selling. If you guys know me, if you've been watching my vlogs a while, you know I have a signed Tommy Hilfiger backpack. It's literally the same thing without his signature. Also, obviously, since I cut my hair, I haven't been wearing hats, so that means I'm selling my personal. So the Grail of the Grail, the olive green, super rare Polo Sport hat. I'm selling this like $70 ship. Polo Sport from the Navy, I'm selling this for like 45. Hustle Trees, I'm selling this LRG Hustle Trees. I'm selling this for like 15 ship. This one, pink, vintage with the leather strap polo right there. I'm selling this for like 30 shipped. Polar Bear, I'm selling this for 60 shipped. Reasons 5 panel, I'm selling this for like 20 shipped. 
Crew, selling this for 15. And then the Denim Calvin Klein, selling this for 30. I also have a couple watches I'm selling. So we have this Rasta colored Adidas watch. All black with the clasp. Same one, but we have the all white. Then we have a Nixon 5130. This watch retails at like $500. I really hate selling on offer up. Somebody was gonna buy my bed set, which is the re main reason why I came to the storage unit. Had it all set out, ready to go for them to buy. They're like, okay, I'll meet you at three. Right now it's five o'clock. They're like, yo, I'm, uh, there's traffic, blah, blah, blah. Now they're like, oh, my car's not working. Sorry, I can't make it. Like, bro, come on. I just wasted all this time literally for nothing. So now I'm gonna go back home and I guess just, I don't know, this is so annoying. Now I'm gonna drop these off in downtown for the homeless people. Got Air Max 97s in here, Tommy, Polo. Stuff you guys don't wanna buy, so fuck it, I'm gonna give it away. I don't need to sell it. So I just made it back from my storage unit, so all those things that you did that I said it was gonna be for sale are now for sale, link down below. Also, I did decide to sell these. Unfortunately, they're a little too big. They're a size 11 and a half, but they honestly fit like a 12. So these need to go. They're Steve Madden strap sandals. And to be honest, once somebody buys them, I'm gonna go to the mall and buy a smaller size. But I'm gonna wait till I sell these. I did wanna keep these for personal, but I was gonna wear them, which actually I wore them to take Captain outside. Captain. Let's see, let's see him. Oh, you can't even see him. He's sitting right there. I took him outside and I realized they're just way too big for me. So they fit like a size 12. I'm doing them like $40 shipped. Steve Madden strap sandals. And honestly, I'm sure these are going to sell fast just because this is really getting in style nowadays. Like, everyone wants to do the strap sandals. Next thing I've showed you guys, the Polar Sport messenger bag. I just lowered the price. I think I had it at 55. Now I just lowered it to 45 shipped. And this is the bigger one. Just added the Ghostbuster side bag with the huge zipper, big pocket. Has an adjustable strap. Put that on the side and you catching ghost. Personal grail of mine, which I'm kind of mad that I'm selling, but to be honest, I wore it the other day and it didn't fit me how I wanted to. It is kind of small. So it fits, I guess it could fit like an oversized medium or a true large. I don't know, I'm used to like, since I'm taller, I'm about six foot, six one. It's a little bit shorter on me or shorter than I like. I like shirts that definitely hang down low, which is why I usually wear XL. But this is a vintage Burberry bear shirt now this isn't like the polar bear shirts this is all stitched in embroidered the bear is wearing burberry underneath all stitched in and then it says the city bear by burberries this is a very rare piece i think i have this price at 120 shipped which to be honest I was going to look at 150 ship because this is so rare. You can't find this anywhere. And the fact that it's vintage Burberry is just so fire, so hard. Next, we have a Black History Month t-shirt. Just a red gilded one. I think I put this up for like 15, 20 bucks ship. And last but not least, we have the Peralta. If you guys watch Lords of Dogtown, then you should know. Or if you used to skate back in the day, we have the Bones. Let's see, Peralta. This says it's a 2XL and it fits wide, but it also fits short. So I would recommend for probably like an oversized medium to a true large. So those were just a few different items I want to show you other than the big jackets and everything I showed you at the storage unit. So make sure you guys go check out the link down below. Also, the next video that I'm going to be posting is going to be like a little discussion video. I'm going to be talking about the Supreme Louis Vuitton drop as well as I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to be doing for the next three months or what my plans are for the future. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow for that. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Pardon me. I don't talk to you, so don't you talk to me. I ain't dissing on nobody. Be. I'm vibing on the beat. Honestly, I'm just trying to be.